Hi, I wanted to uh, do a quick little video here. Um, this is on a uh, what the hell is it? On a Gallagher M1000. Um, I wanted to show you how to replace a terminal bolt on one of these. So I had a guy call here the other day asking he had a terminal bolt um, that was all burnt up and scorched up on the one of the terminals here. This these are both fine. But I wanted to show anyways how to do this. Um, so let me, um, so what, what you, have to do, you have to get it apart first. That's the biggest thing you got to be able to do. Get Replacing terminal bolts is pretty easy. But you, once you get it all apart, get that circuit board pulled out of there. Whatever, it doesn't matter if it's ground or fence. The both bolts are the both, both bolts are the same. So whatever one's bad. So I'm going to show you how to replace one of them. You got these little L-shaped uh, things right here. These little silver things is what plug into the board on both fence and ground. They're kind of you know, put on and twisted and locked in place. They kind of bump up against these um, this little black nub right there on um, both of them. So you turn it, and it just slides right off. So it's kind of kind of kind of got a one-way fitment, so it goes on there a certain way. It slides on. And turn it. Sometimes you have to use a pair of needle nose if they're on there pretty tight. Just do, got a pair of needle nose. Here I'll show you. Some kind of pair of pliers. Just grab them and just kind of get it started and turn it that way. And it pulls right off. You'll keep that unless it's all burnt up and replace that too. And the bolt just kind of pushes out from the outside in or inside out. And then you get a new one. They'll look just like this. Might be a different color. It might be kind of a shinier metal versus this duller kind. It's the earlier version of the new ones. Um, let me show you what a new one looks like. Let's kind of compare a little bit. Here's what a new one looks like. The old one. See, they're just different. Same type of bolt. But they are uh, this better quality bolt. The new one. So then you take a new one. I usually will clean up inside here too. There's a bunch of white burnt dust stuff in there. Just take a Dremel or something or a wire brush. You just scrape it out of there and then blow it out or something like that. That way you start with a clean, fresh slate. Put it in there and you just kind of, I always put it, you can put it straight. might go right in or you might put it in, put it in because this has a split bolt thing on there. You can put it in perpendicular and then turn it. And make sure it sits in there nice and flush. And you can hold it, hold, put your finger on the front side to hold it in place. Grab that little, I don't know, they call it interconnect terminal or something like that. Put it on like this. Grab it and turn it. And then you can kind of, if it's on there, kind of cockeye like that one is, just turn it back till it's straight like that. And then you can install all your other parts back into it so we're going to install the board back into it and you got these two little windows right here one there one right there you got these little tabs right here the little female spade connectors basically and you kind of look in that window to kind of line it up on those other tabs on those little connectors press it into place and then we're going to reinstall or install what we're going to call it the uh, board or the uh, transformer capacitor into it. I need my knife. Capacitor. Transformer. So we're going to plug the transformer back in. These transformers only go on one way. You have this little lip right here that points towards the points away from the terminals so the smooth side it points towards these terminals here you got four little tabs make sure that they're straight not bent or broken i just kind of get it lined up that's installed and there's a the capacitor And kind of make sure that they're straight. It plugs in right here. 
and then you got your um, power cord. I always squeeze on these. Make sure that they're not spread out too much. Plug those onto the board in the correct spots. Plug it in and make sure it works. There it goes. Running good now. So I'll put a tester across it, make sure it's reading right. Tester says about uh, 9.7, 9.8. The meter shows 9.2, so pretty much right on the money. So well, that's basically how you, if you need to change out one of your bolts, I mean the hardest part is getting it apart and you need special tools to get it apart. But most times people just send them here and let me do it for you so that way you have to go out and spend money on a tool that you don't have to buy. You only use it one time or two times, you know, in your life. So where we work on these things monthly. So we, we that's why it's feasible for us to buy the tool to do it because we work on a lot of them. So that's why we do it. Well, uh, subscribe to our channel. Our website and information is all down below in the description area, but there's our all of our information there. Our website, fencerfixer.com and kettlescalerepair.com and our phone number and address and everything. We work on all brands and ages. These fence boxes. But uh, until next time, we'll see you guys later on. And if you got one of these boxes that need to be worked on, send it, send it in to us. we will happy to work on it and give you a free quote and 18 month warranty on anything that we work on but until next time see you later